I, I grew up in, in India, you know, a very small town in India, a very conservative country, very conservative atmosphere. Uh, growing up, I had certain realizations that maybe, yeah, I do like men, but never acted upon it or just never knew is that feeling okay, normal, does everybody go through or I'm somebody special, I just didn't know. Everybody was extremely homophobic in my town, even my closest, closest friends. In Appleton, where I grew up, people weren't gay. All of my friends were very religious, uh, my parents were religious, um, I myself was very religious, um, and as a result I had no idea that this part of me even existed. A white bread boy from the suburbia of New Jersey, silver spoon in the mouth, the whole deal. I started seeing the news of this weird disease that was affecting gay people in, in parts of the world, and it was terrifying, absolutely terrifying. And there was this one kid who uh, basically stood up in front of the class and said, if I ever found out that anyone in this class was gay, I would have to beat them up. And it terrified me. All I had were like the stereotypes that the media sells of what like being gay is. And I felt like I didn't conform with that. Guess what? After marriage was the realization, holy shit, <laughs> I think I'm gay. Too late, but what can you do? <laughs> in comes my father who basically saw his son having relations with his best friend. I actually didn't see him for about a year after that. So there was a phase of about a year where I was trying to accept that yes, I'm gay, and what should I do next? I'm married, I can't be gay. Was, I was visiting psychiatrists uh, because I would look at excuses to not go home every day, and me and my ex were going through a hard time. To my best friend got HIV and his solution to this was to kill himself and that broke my heart immensely. At that point I had decided that I needed to tell everyone I knew at 17 that I was gay. Everyone. Because it can't possibly uh, end in the way that it ended for Ryan. And I made a promise to myself then that I would never lie to anyone about my sexuality. I would never lie to, to anyone about who I, who I was. And that's an incredibly empowering uh, decision to make. I started telling some of my closest friends, one by one, and it's like a big weight gets lifted off your shoulders when you do that. All my suspicions of thinking, holy shit, I'm going to lose my job, I'm going to lose my friends, the only friends that I have, my colleagues, I'm going to lose out on them, never happened. And coming out to every single person was getting easier as and when I was coming out to more and more people. You know, it feels like you have this big block sitting on your head and it's just lifted and you're just running freely for miles and miles and that was the feeling, it was a brilliant feeling. The hardest part I think um, in my journey was definitely coming out to my parents. I worked at my courage and I told them, you know, that I was, that I was bi and, uh, and they said, we love you anyway. Had, a, you know, found a boyfriend and I took him home you know, and they were surprisingly awesome <laughs> about the whole thing. Like it was a total non-issue. It was embarrassingly easy. Like they were laughing about it and they're like, oh yeah, you can kind of tell. Um, that was only a lot, uh, keeping it for myself as opposed to my friends. You know, it took time and I think it took growth on everybody's parts, you know. Um, it took me 26 years to accept who I am. My parents can take at least half of it to accept who I am. All my, all my straight friends were super supportive and they're like, Elena, are you eventually going to meet some other gay people? You know, and, um, and I did. When I came out to them, uh, it was life changing. My family has been incredibly accepting. When I came out to my mother, she said, I knew that. I wish you told me. So I guess if I could say something to myself at that time, I would say that like, you're, you're certainly not alone. There's a lot of people who are feeling the same way and you just gotta find them. Even if you don't think you can do anything about something, you will be surprised how people change on their own, even. Um, so I guess what I would say to you is, uh, people can surprise you. The way to meet people, gay, straight, bi, whatever, is to go into groups that are doing things that you like to do, and do those things, and have fun, and find someone who shares your interests. Yeah, there's a lot of people out there. You know, back when I was 15, there wasn't the internet, so it wasn't really easy to 
find people or look at stuff. Well, so if you're not totally comfortable or if you're wondering and, and inquiring, you should feel great about just finding connections on the internet and gradually figuring out the physicality of, uh, of what you're doing. Not everyone's coming out story is, is, a, is a happy story. Um, but be sure that there are people around you. Find the people around you who are going to be supportive. Talk to someone, maybe not someone in your family, if you, if you think your family might not be accepting. Find someone who you can talk to, who can be there for you when you, when you start to make those, those very scary steps out into the world. It's, it, it gets so much better. It gets immensely better. Um, go to school, learn, uh, meet others, be courageous, tell others about yourself. Um, if you have a best friend or you have any friend that you suspect is gay, get to know him or her. Um, tell him or her that you love them. Tell him or her that life is amazing and it's difficult at times, for sure, but it's amazing. Finally with somebody that I've been with for 21 years and um, he's of African-American descent and so I put another issue in front of my parents. You know, my boyfriend and I have been together for three years, over three years now, and it will get better whether you'll make it yourself or the people around you uh, will make it better for you. Thank you. Um, if you just stay true and just live your life and people know you and get to know you through that, I think there's a, there's a lot that can happen, right? And, and it will. Yeah. It will get better. It gets so much better. It gets great. It gets awesome. It, get, it gets much better. Better, Hova. It gets better. It gets better. Tudo vai melhorar.